Welcome back here at 945. We are highlighting Boo at Bathabra Park this Saturday. You are invited there to celebrate Halloween in the park from 1.30 to 4.30 in the afternoon, and there is a lot to do, including hearing some scary stories. Okay, here with a preview is storyteller Cynthia Brown joining us live. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning, everyone, and happy early Halloween. Thank well, you. You too. So <laughs> tell us what's all happening on Saturday. We hear there's songs, crafts, and a scavenger hunt. Oh my gosh, Bethabra is the place to be any time of year, but I've been coming there for several years and it is just wonderful. It's very spooky and haunted. The buildings are old and you can go in and just feel like you're back in time. There are all kinds of things to do, face painting, things like that, but of course you don't want to miss me <laughs> telling my spooky stories. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh, what? perfect. Like the witch perfect laugh. Perfect witch <laughs> laugh for this. So what got you first interested in telling spooky stories, ghost stories, and history? Well, um, it began, of course, with my family. My dad was really a history um, buff, and he started with stories about Blackbeard on the beach at Topsail Island when we were little. So I think it's a gift. I, I treat it as that, and I try and share it and just tell stories. I love North Carolina folk tales, and there are so many ghost stories in North Carolina. I started the North Carolina Storytelling Guild with some friends, and we've now been going 20 years, so there are a lot of good storytellers, but the ghost stories are still my favorite. I lived in a haunted house in New England, and I was convinced that Mr. Tilly was haunting the house in a good way. Now, people think spooks and things like that are scary, just ignore those movies on TV. I'm thinking more Scooby-Doo or, you know, just friendly spirits. Mm. Why, in my house, I've got several things that are from history, the history of my family, and I can just kind of feel the good, I know, it's old 60s, good vibrations, but you know <laughs> what I mean? Just a good feeling. So when you're telling these stories and listening mm. to them, I like to feel like you're in there, sitting by the fire with me. At Bethabra, they'll have it all set up. We'll have hay bales and face painting, like I said, and you'll sit and listen to the stories. I've written three books, one of which is my favorite. It's um, Spook, can you see that? Uh, scary oh, Stories, there we go. There um, we go. Spooky Story, Pirates and Ghosts to the Coast. And then my other one, one's a cookbook, but this one has recipes too. It's Ghosts and Stories of the Piedmont. And I will definitely be sharing some of those. Um, you can talk to me there where to get the books or on Amazon or, you know, whatever. But scary stories from around here are the best. I'm not just saying that because I lived, have lived here 50 years, grew up at the coast, came here. I mean, they are really scary. And Bethabra and Old Salem, that whole area mm. has really got some really good tales. Now, some of these are historic. So they could be true, I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there a particularly spooky place in Bethabra that everyone wants to make sure they see and, and learn about? Well, of course, the spookiest place will be me, just saying. <laughs> but there are several um, houses where people actually lived in their log cabins type and you just get there and you just have that feeling that you're not alone mm. you know what i mean um but it's very family friendly i don't mean don't bring your littlest ones because they will have fun too but just the history coming alive right there with you so be sure and go on the cemetery walk and the ghost tours and things like that Perfect. Well, Cynthia, thank yes. you so much for explaining that and giving us a preview of uh, the spooky experience that's going on at Boo at Bethabra mm -hmm. this weekend. We appreciate your time. Again, that's on Saturday, October 26th in historic Bethabra Park in Winston-Salem. The event is in the afternoon, 1.30 to 4.30, and it's free to attend.